Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Spectrum Classes. Today we are going to discuss about ionization energy which is also known as ionization potential. This ionization energy is very useful to explain several properties of the elements which are present in the periodic table. Therefore, this is very important property and for competitive point of view, this ionization energy is again important uh, as many of the questions have been asked in several competitive exams. So let's start with ionization energy. Ionization energy is defined as the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the outermost orbit of an isolated gaseous atom. This is termed as ionization energy. If we say the amount of work done instead of energy required, to remove an electron from the outermost orbit of an isolated gaseous atom, then that is termed as its potential and known as ionization potential. This can be represented by the equation. Here M is the metal ion and this G represents the gaseous state of this metal atom. So we say this metal atom in gaseous isolated state, when an electron is removed from the outermost orbit of this metal atom to convert it into positively charged metal ion then the energy which is required to remove this electron is known as its ionization energy this ionization energy is measured in terms of kilojoule per mole or in electron volts per atom this ionization energy can also be better understand by this figure here this is the model of a sodium atom which has one electron in its outermost shell that is 3s1 so to remove this electron the energy required is termed as its first ionization energy after removal of an electron this atom is converted into the positively charged ion. So, this is its first ionization energy. Now, let us consider this another example. Here, we have taken the example of magnesium 12, which has two electrons in its outermost orbit as 3s2. So, let us remove either of the electron which is available in this third shell and the energy required to remove this electron to convert it into positively charged ion this energy is known as its first ionization energy further if we remove this second electron from this shell energy required to remove this electron from this outermost shell the resultant ion further acquires the positive charge and this energy requ required is termed as its second ionization energy here since already there is a positively charged ion and to remove one negatively charged electron is a bit difficult therefore the second ionization energy is always greater than the first ionization energy further if we try to remove next electron from this ion then that is again a bit difficult to remove from these already two positively charged ion first is that and the second one is over here it has complete octet therefore the third ionization energy is greater than the second ionization energy due to the complete octet so there is a relationship between the successive ionization energies the third ionization energy is always greater than the second ionization energy which is again greater than the first ionization energy now we will discuss here about the factors which affect ionization energy so there are several factors which affect this ionization energy first is size of the atom or ion or in other words atomic or ionic radii so as the size of the atom or ion increases ionization potential decreases so if we 
consider this in terms of this periodic table as we are moving down the group then the size of the atom increases so as the size of the atom increases ionization potential decreases because the second factor is effective nuclear charge so as we are moving down the group the effective nuclear charge decreases due to the increase in inner electrons if we move along the period then the atomic radius decreases because the next incoming group enters into the same shell therefore effective nuclear charge increases as we are moving along the period therefore ionization energy increases as we are moving along the period and decreases as we are moving down the group the another factor is that completely and half filled orbitals so due to the hund's rule of maximum multiplicity completely filled and half filled orbitals have extra stability therefore for complete and half filled orbitals ionization energy is a bit higher than the other if rest of the conditions are same then the removal of electron from s p d or f orbitals so the difficulty on removing the electron from these orbitals if rest of the conditions are same is in this order that is it is difficult to remove the electron from the s orbital because the electrons which are present in the s orbital are very much close to the nucleus therefore it is difficult to remove the electrons which are present in the s orbital as compared to the electrons present in p d or f orbital so these are the factors which affect the ionization energy the next is screening effect as the number of electrons in the inner shell increases it is easy to remove the electron from the outermost shell due to the decrease in effective nuclear charge or increase in size so these factors are interrelated the next is the properties which are interrelated or which are related to the ionization energy so here as we already discussed that on moving from left to right or along the period ionization energy increases and as we move down the group ionization energy decreases so here are some properties which are interrelated to the ionization energy if ionization energy is low it means it is easy to remove the electron from the outermost shell from the gaseous isolated atom so if it is easy to remove the electron means the atom has higher tendency to lose the electron and this loss of electron is termed as oxidation so the metal get oxidized itself and it has reducing tendency therefore the atom which has low ionization energy is of high reducing tendency further uh, first and second group elements have low ionization energies as compared to the other elements and they are metallic in nature further those elements which are having low ionization energy means they have high tendency to lose the electron they have very less electron affinity so these are the few properties which are interrelated to each other and the next slide based on these properties we have discussed some mcqs the first one is which is the correct order of the first ionization potential of nitrogen oxygen and carbon the second one is the correct order of the second ionization one so please pay your attention to here the first ionization energy here second ionization energy has been asked so how the answers will be changed that has been explained over here the ionization first ionization energy of the elements are given over here so lithium has 500 kJ per mole first ionization energy beryllium 900 and so on so here we can see the trend here this is 500 this is 900 and this is 800 so here is a jump again 800 1000 something 1400 something and then 
thirteen hundred something. So here is again a jump. So next is sixteen hundred eighty one, and then neon has two thousand eighty one kilojoule per mole for ionization energy. So in the periodic table, the noble gas configurations have highest ionization energy values in that period. Completely filled and half filled orbitals of these elements. So, if we arrange these elements in the increasing order of their ionization energy, then this will be the order. So, we can we have to check nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon. So, nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon. So, nitrogen has more ionization energy than oxygen, then carbon. D is the correct answer. The next is second ionization energy. So, in this case, we can write down your electronic configuration and then you can arrange. But here, I have solved this and I have explained over here. So, lithium has three electrons initially. So, after removal of one electron, it has two electrons now. So, two electron is the electronic configuration of helium. So, helium has highest ionization potential in the periodic table. So, lithium has highest. Then neon. Then here, fluorine after removal of one electron, it will acquire 2p4 configuration. Now, nitrogen has 2p2 and this oxygen will have 2p3 configuration so this has now half filled orbital so this will come first then your fluorine then nitrogen then boron has now this complete 2s2 shell therefore it will come first then carbon then beryllium c is the correct answer the third one is which of the following element has the lowest ionization potential nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon if nothing is given over here it means simply first ionization potential so oxygen fluorine neon so as we discussed in the previous case oxygen has the the next one is correct increasing order of first ionization potential is so here we have to first arrange them in their increasing order of atomic number their sodium magnesium aluminium and silicon here you can see aluminium silicon sodium and magnesium sodium has 3s1 this is this has 3s2 and again 3p1 3p2 so this has completely filled orbital first thing and as we move along the period ionization energy increases so silicon has maximum then magnesium will go here aluminium come later so this will be the correct answer the next one is of the following which has the lowest ionization potential so here magnesium is given magnesium plus magnesium 2 plus and barium so magnesium and barium are of same group here but as we are moving down the group ionization energy decreases so barium has lowest ionization energy irrespective of the fact that magnesium is having charge the next one is which is the most electropositive element so most electropositive element which has higher tendency to lose the electron or which is having low ionization energy value so first arrange these in their in the periodic table first as we are moving down the group ionization energy decreases so iodine is in the previous one and this is on the right hand side where ionization energy increases so cesium has lowest ionization energy therefore it is most electropositive element so that is the explanation for this oxidizing action increases in the following order so in which order the oxidizing tendency of the element increases this is the correct answer as we are moving down the group 
reducing tendency increases but oxidizing tendency decreases the next is the strongest reducing agent is so first locate their positions and then here magnesium aluminium potassium is over here so potassium has lower ionization energy as compared to the others therefore it has more reducing tendency i hope you like this video thank you